Hello guys, it is me, Decoys, and welcome to How to Play Captain America in Nevermore, my RPG system. Now, this is based on uh, Two Lock the Barbarian series, uh, how to play, uh, how to build a character, and I've decided to give you guys a little bit more information on the playtest version of my class, and also how to make um, a good old Captain America. So, the class, we're going to be starting with the class, and the class is Soldier. Soldiers start with a pool of 10 ability points every long rest. They regen 5 ability points every short rest. Um, they gain 2 ability points every level, max ability points, and they start with 6 magic points and gain 2 every level. So if they want to spell, if they want to use magic, they can. Uh, you start with 5 points in the basic like player's handbook array. Um, I'm going to put 3 into strength and 2 into dexterity, uh, and we're going to choose our race. Uh, I'll choose human because he's human, so I decided, to, and human gets a, an extra three points, so I'm going to put two into strength, make it a five, and one point into health, so that we have 25 health starting out at level one. Uh, so, at level one, we're going to be choosing the parry ability. If you roll higher than the enemy's ability check, you may parry a bladed attack. Steve likes to parry attacks, he's got a shield. And speed of shields, at level 2, we're going to be choosing proficiency in shields, which gives us a proficiency in shields. Uh, level 3, we'll choose fighter bravery, which makes you have a plus 3 on all fear checks that you roll. And level 5 is the fighting style, and for our fighting style, we're going to be choosing martial artist. Uh, you get an extra attack and combat, and you can use triple takedown, which is a triple hit that costs 5 ability points, makes you allowed to roll 3 times, but it's an unarmored attack. So it's only your base damage, which can be pretty powerful in the higher levels. Uh, level 7, we're going to be choosing Fighter's Death Wish. Uh, Steve is pretty out there, so this is a constant 1.5 times to all of your damage. So let's say your damage is 20, you now have 30 damage constantly to your base damage, but you are prioritized by monsters, so they'll attack you first and they'll try and get you down first. Uh, level 10, we'll choose Heavy Strike. Uh, this takes up your next movement bonus and action. Uh, but it deals twice your damage, it costs 5 ability points, but you must be within 5 meters of your opponent. At level 15, you're going to be taking Recharge, which uh, it gives you recharges 10 ability points, but you have to give up your next two turns to just kind of lay back and relax. Level 20, yep, we're already at level 20, but don't worry, we have 30 more levels to go. At level 20, you want to choose Mastery. You are now a master of your combat style slash weapon, and this gives you a plus 2 on rolls. So we now are a master of shields, making us have a plus two on every roll of an attack that we do with a shield. At level 25, we can choose our order for our fighter. We're going to be choosing Order of the Blades because it's the only one that really fits him, and this uh, makes you resistant to slashing damage, which means that you take half of the damage if it's a slashing attack, like a sword. At level 30, we're going to be choosing Soldier's Will. Uh, when below half health, if you roll a 20 or higher, you heal a quarter of your health once per long rest, or it costs 30 ability points to use. Uh, this is also a, uh, a strength save. So. At level 35, you, we're going to uh, choose the uh, True Soldier feat, which gives you a plus 1 extra HP every level. You gain 5 HP every level, but now you gain 6 HP every level, which is kind of good. Um, and level 40, we're going to choose Ultra Strike, which costs all of your current available ability points to create a super attack dealing times 4 your normal damage, but it knocks you unconscious, so you have to be careful with it. It's kind of like a last stand. It reminded me of uh, Steve Rogers in, uh, in in Endgame when he was fighting Thor, uh, not Thor, sorry, uh, Thanos. Uh, level 50, finally, the max level, we're going to be taking Golden Warrior. Uh, all non-epic plus monsters have to make an intelligence roll against you, and if they fail, they get a disadvantage against the entire party. So that means they get a minus one roll on every roll they do against the party, which is really good, honestly. I mean, you're, you're going to be fighting some epic plus monsters, honestly, at level 50, but if any, like, minions come out of the ground and you succeed, they're just not going to do any damage to you guys. And that is it. That is Captain America. Now, there are some things I've left out because they'd be a bit complicated to explain. Like, you gain a point for every level. So at the beginning when we had 3 in strength, or 5 in strength, and uh, 2 in dexterity and 1 in health, we have technically 49 more points to put into that, but I just don't want to really put that into it. 
Uh, I will explain more things along the way, and if you guys want more, make sure to like the video, subscribe to see the next episode, because obviously you can't see the next episode that you want to watch if you aren't subscribed, you won't find me because I'm on a small channel. Anyway, um, in the top right, there should be a poll for the next character I will do in this series. I won't do too many of these characters, I don't s suspect this to be the next episode, because I want to keep a lot of the steep secret until, like, big reveals, but, but if you do want to, uh... Uh, you know, if you want to choose one of the three that I'm going to give you, then choose that, and we'll try and make them in the next episode of How to Play. Bye-bye.